Hello again, my dear students. This is Mom Jane, your English teacher, and in this recorded video, I will be explaining to you quarter number four, module number one. So last time we discussed about quarter number three, module number five, but again, that will be under the fourth quarter. So this will be the first module for the fourth quarter, but remember, students, that this will be our second topic. Okay, so the, te the second topic is all about distinguishing features of academic writing. So this uh, topic is uh, somewhat difficult compared to the first lesson that we discussed. Okay, so let us now go directly to the objectives again. So at the end of this module, you are expected to first determine the basic features of academic writing. So we will be discussing them one by one later. Next, analyze the significance of these features in writing a critical paper. And the last one, organize information in writing an academic paper. So uh, the activities that you will be doing in this particular module will will target this particular objectives these three objectives that i have read so let us now go on to the discussion part so what is it so again the title of this first module in the fourth quarter and our lesson number two is distinguishing features of academic writing so what is academic writing so academic writing is the style of writing that investigates the state of an issue and presents your position based on the evidence of your research so usually uh, academic writing can be applied in a research paper so you are researching to be able to investigate an issue and to be able to present your side or to present evidences based on the issue that you are discussing on your research paper so that's the reason why just like what i told you this academic writing is a difficult topic so uh, you will be discussing this in detail especially the research paper when you are in grade 10 okay so this will just this will be a simple one simpler compared to the topic that you will be discussing in grade 10 so academic or critical writing so remember uh, academic writing is also called critical writing it is the way you take part in the academic debate so academic writing is in a written form but when you apply that in an oral form or through speaking it is almost the same with academic debate so you weigh up the evidence and arguments of others and contribute your own so you will be giving your side in a particular problem or issue so there are different types of academic writing so we will be discussing that one by one with the use of this slide presentation so uh, what are the different types of academic writing so it is incomplete it should be academic writing so the first one we have the so-called abstract so when we say abstract it is a short summary of a research paper so when you will be going to write your research paper so the very reason why you have a research paper because you are researching for an issue that's the reason why you will create a research paper you will be uh, you will try to prove something that's the reason why you will be writing a research paper or you will answer a problem through research so that is a research paper so the in the beginning of the research paper you can find an abstract so an abstract is a short summary of what is in the research paper next we have the annotated bibliography so when we say annotated bibliography it includes a summary or evaluation of each of the sources you use in your research paper 
so because when you are researching you will be using different sources different te textbooks or different articles so you will include that in your bibliography so when we say annotated bibliography it is the evaluation of the sources that you used next we have academic journal articles so when we say journal articles those are shorter than books and written about very specific topics so shorter than books shorter than uh, the one found in a book so when we say academic journals so they provide good quality research articles so these academic journal articles are very much useful when you are having a research or a research paper next book report so a book report is a written composition or oral presentation that describes summarizes and often but not always evaluates a work of fiction or non-fiction for example you read a story so you will be making a book report about that story so therefore you will summarize the story and then you will evaluate that story if that is a good story or uh, not that good story so that is a book report next we have dissertation so when you uh, graduate in college and you will be having a postgraduate degree so you will be doing this dissertation so it is almost the same with a research paper but in a more complicated way you will be having explanation in a more complicated way because it is uh, part of the undergraduate or postgraduate degree program but it is almost the same with the research paper but in a more for formal way next we have an essay so essay is a short formal piece of writing dealing with a single subject so essay is usually uh, composed of paragraphs which explains a uh, paragraph which explains your opinion in a certain topic so that is an essay explication so it is a literary technique in criticism and research used for a close analysis of an excerpt or text taken from a lengthy piece of work so for example you read a twilight 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 novel so about the vampire so you will be getting an excerpt or just part of that particular novel and you will analyze that part that that excerpt so that is called explication and also we have research paper uh, under academic writing so a research paper is an essay in which you explain what you have learned after exploring your topic in depth so it is all about a certain topic or a search a certain issue and based on that issue or topic or problem you will be researching evidences and you will explain that so after explaining that you will explain your side as well and a research proposal so before doing a research you need to have research proposal so it is a structured formal document that explains what you plan to research and of course we all know textbook that's the reason why I do not include any uh, meaning because the textbooks are the one that we are using uh, in where it contains different topics about different subject areas and thesis thesis is almost the same with dissertation so it, it is one of the most important concepts in college expository writing so when you uh, enrolled in college you will experience this is writing so just like what I said those are the those are the types of academic writing so you will see these types when I send this copy in your GC next let us go on with the main features of academic writing First, we have here formality. So, if you will be having an academic writing, you should write in a formal way. 
so you should avoid colloquial words just like a bit a lot of sort of so you will not be using that because it, they are not used uh, in a formal way of writing because academic writing remember class is formal way of writing of course you should avoid abbreviated or contracted form so instead of using can't you must use cannot mustn't you must use must not so you should avoid abbreviated or contracted form and let us see you need to avoid two words verbs two word verbs so instead of using two word uh, verbs much better if you will use just one word verb and subheading subheading numbering and bullet points they are not uh, used in uh, academic writing yung mga may bullets mga may numbers so much much better if you will be writing that in a paragraph form when we say subheading i have here an example so sorry if it is too small so this will be the heading this will be the subsection and this is what we call the subheading so in formal writing or in academic writing we should not uh, use this uh, subheading next number two complexity so complexity means written language is relatively more complex than spoken language so uh, in a, in an academic writing you should explain your thoughts in a complex way you should explain the topic in a broader way next number three precision precision in academic writing it means you need to be precise when you use information dates or figures just like this one so it contains the names and then the year the mga uh, needed information so you need to be precise next objectivity objectivity uh, written language is in a general objective rather than personal so instead of using i pronoun me myself so you should not be using that in an academic writing so you should not uh, include your opinion most especially in a research paper so uh, you should write more on an objective way based on the one that you research so just like the news so in in giving news mike enriquez for example will not give his opinion so he will just say the news based on what really happened so almost the same with academic writing no need to write your opinion so it should be objective based on what you research next number five explicitness so academic writing is explicit about the relationships in the text so when we say explicitness we will be using this one the connectors for you to have a more uh, organized uh, academic writing so you need to use signaling or transition words or connectors just like this one this one yeah. yeah they are all transition words or signal words next number six accuracy so academic writing uses vocabulary accurately most subjects have words with narrow specific meaning so you need to uh, explain some difficult words if you are having a research so that's the reason why in a research paper there is a part where you explain the different concepts that you use in your research number seven organization so when we say organization academic writing is well organized it flows easily from one section to the next in a logical fashion so that's the reason why we need to use this one the signal word and the transition words for your academic writing to become more organized next number eight hedging so when we say hedging so we use he uh, we can apply hedging by using these words 
So almost the same way the transition words and signal words. So uh, you to be able for your ideas to be connected with one another, you need to use these words. And responsibility. So in academic writing, you are responsible for demonstrating an understanding of the sort the source text. You must also be responsible for and must be able to provide evidence and justification. So you will be responsible in researching articles and explaining those articles. So in academic writing, we should avoid copy paste. So when you research a particular idea, you need to cite where that idea came from and you will explain that using your own word so you should be responsible and number 10 planning so academic writing is well planned it usually takes place after research and evaluation according to a specific purpose and plan so before doing a research or before writing an academic writing you should plan it carefully so what topic are you going to discuss so where are you going to find your uh, references just like that so what vocabulary or what words are you going to define or what words are you going to focus on so you need to plan that that's the reason why a while ago I showed you a research proposal so it is difficult I know but if you will notice the activity under what's more is somewhat easy so later I will be posting this one also this is just the summary of what we discussed a while ago so what's more now the activity under what's more so just true or false the first part you need to identify if the statement is correct or incorrect so by writing true or false next so we have independent assessment number one so from this row all you need to do is to choose the example of academic writing from these three examples what is the best example that will fall under academic writing is it personal journal jo journal sorry so personal more on personal is it under academic writing conference paper so paper used for a conference or reader response writing so what do you think is the one which fall under academic writing just encircle it or choose the best answer and write that on your paper next independent activity number two you need to rewrite the following sentences and replace the two word verbs with a more uh, equivalent form of verb so we have here the two word verbs this one two word verbs so you need to change that into uh, one word verb and this will be your choices okay next independent assessment number two so choose the letter of the sentence that follows correct features of academic writing so which one is more correct which one is more formal is it letter a or letter b and independent activity number three so a while ago we discussed about the features of academic writing so determine the features of academic writing being applied in the following statement so for example this is the statement the internationalization of the economic has created growth opportunities so what do we use here is it hedging so a while ago i gave you clue if it is hedging you need to use these words so is it explicitness formality or precision so when we say precision with numbers with names yeah so try to go back to the discussion a while ago for you to have an idea about these four and then identify uh, what uh, feature of academic writing is being used in the following statements and independent assessment number three all you need to do is to read the essay below this one Bulacan the prosperous province purged by history and heroism 
Then write a short analysis about the features of academic writing being applied. Be guided with the rubrics below. So you will be graded based on this scoring. So all you need to do is to uh, to choose from the one that we discussed a while ago, this, this particular part, the 1 to 10, choose what uh, feature of academic writing is being used in this essay. Then explain why. So just like this one, we have dates. So what that dates will fall under what feature of academic writing. So if you have question, again, you may go back to the previous discussion that we had in the first part of this recorded video or you may read the copy that I will be sending in your GC or you may uh, chat me. So, thank you very much for listening and watching. Bye-bye!